In this video, we will be looking at what Russell Westbrook has done for the Lakers and mostly the positive aspects of his acquisition. And a lot of the clips that will be shown will not have LeBron as he has missed a few games this season. And overall, Westbrook has played a lot better when LeBron is not on the court. He's forming a little bit of chemistry with some of the other players, but it is taking time. But this video will be a little bit more of a positive outlook on what Westbrook has done with his short tenure with the Lakers. This first play is the Lakers. They can't, we're coming off a fast break, and Malik Monk is passing it to Russell Westbrook. Now, there's Derek White and Doug McDermott here, and they aren't really in the best defensive position in terms of stopping this play as McDermott is a little more focused on Westbrook and White is looking more at Monk. And this will cause some miscommunication, but this really just shows what Ross adds for the Lakers. He is very good at attacking downhill, and he is someone on the Lakers who can get his own bucket. Looking at the play here, he's able to just work around Derek White and just gets the easy bucket. On this play, Russell Westbrook is going to work around a few of the Spurs player with an Anthony Davis screen. He's going to end up sa sending him a lob that will get an easy two points. But look here at how the defense always is looking at Russ as when he attacks the paint, you need more than one person stopping him. Right here, you see DeJounte Murray, who's guarding AD after the screen. He was still more focused on Russell Westbrook, or at least had his eyes on him compared to Davis. Now, Davis was going to score over Murray no matter what happened. As he's just a larger player. And Murray just does not have a height or weight advantage to stop a player like Anthony Davis. But if you stop the play here, you see that Westbrook already was looking at AD. And then when AD cut, Rush just set him up for the easy bucket. One of Russ's best attributes is that he's always putting 100% in on every play. And you'll see here, on a pretty lazy inbound, just wasn't the best for the Spurs, he's able to take advantage, and he ends up leading the Lakers to a fast break here, as that was an easy finish for the Lakers, as he just lobbed it up to DeAndre Jordan. Now, we see here, he already has reacted way more aggressively and has a better angle at pursuing the ball than DeJounte Murray, who's backpedaling, so he already doesn't have as much momentum towards the ball as Russ. He's running full speed towards the ball, and Russ is able to tip it towards the open area of the court where the Lakers players all just started running because he knew Murray had no chance of running there before him, and then he just had to lob it up for DeAndre Jordan. Russ is a player that acquires a lot of attention in the paint, and on this play, you will see that here, as on Russ goes downhill, both Jakob Pertl and DeJounte Murray are more focused on him than guarding DeAndre Jordan, as on this screen, when you pause here, DeJounte Murray and Pertl are both looking at Russ, and that just leaves DeAndre Jordan wide open for an easy dunk. The last clip showed how Russ receives a lot of attention when he's in the paint. And here we will see why he receives such attention. As when he's driving downhill, he's probably the best as in terms of his height and weight. As obviously Giannis and other players like that are a lot more scary driving down. But Westbrook has equal athleticism and just watching him here. At half court, he's basically just starts running and... The whole defense really sees that, but no one really can do anything about it, as once he sees the lane, no one is going to stop him. Another one of Russ's biggest strengths is his ability to find weaknesses in the opponent's defenses in the paint and just attack and exploit them. Here we will see that the Spurs don't switch quickly enough as the screen set by Dwight, and... Russ is just able to attack the paint and gets a bu pretty easy bucket for him as he has to work around the defender a little bit, but he still gets the basket as we see here. The defender just does not close in time 
and Rush is just able to attack the paint, works off of a defender a little bit, and he gets his two points. This final play ties in everything we've said about Russ so far and how he's such a good playmaker and can always find his teammates. That that can really be a concern for defenses as AD is going to pop out to the three-point line here. And this causes some miscommunication on the screen as Dirk White and Pirtle don't really know how to cover it as well. As you can't have Dirk White on AD as that's just an easy matchup for him. And also Pirtle on Russ isn't the best matchup either. As we see here, once AD goes back, Pirtle didn't really react in time as he wasn't sure how the defense with him and White was going to work out. And then Russ is just able to attack the paint and he ties up the game with six and a half minutes to go. To wrap up this video, I want to say even though the Lakers have had struggles fitting Russ and LeBron together, this team is still going to be able to figure it out. There's still a lot of regular season games left, and when everything is worked out, this is a team no one is going to want to play a playoff time, and they are the favorites to make it out of the West. So, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this video, and make sure to comment what you think about Russell Westbrook. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.